Hello and welcome everyone to yet another tech enthusiastic video from Edureka. Today, we will be discussing about an interesting topic that is OLAP or Online Analytical Processing versus the OLTP or the Online Transaction Process. Now, before we begin, please subscribe to Edureka's YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update on the trending technologies in the current year. Also, if you're looking for an online training and certification program, then I have dropped down the link in the description box below, which will redirect you to the Edureka homepage. Now, without wasting much time, let's quickly begin with our session for today's discussion. Firstly, we shall begin with understanding what exactly is OLAP. Followed by that, for a better understanding, we shall go through some of the basic examples of OLAP. Then, followed by that, we shall understand the advantages of OLAP services and next, the drawbacks of OLAP services. Next, after that, we shall enter into the OLTP process and we will understand the definition of that in the first place. Followed by that, we shall check some of the examples based on OLTP systems. Then, the advantages of OLTP systems. Next, the disadvantages of OLTP systems. Followed by this, we shall look into the comparison between OLAP and OLTP systems and we shall wind up the session by discussing some of the key differences between the both. Now, I hope I made myself clear with the agenda. Now, without wasting much time, let's quickly begin with our session for today. Firstly, we shall discuss what exactly is OLAP. OLAP or Online Analytical Processing is a category of software tools which provides analysis of data for business decisions. OLAP systems allow users to analyze database information from multiple database systems at online. Here, we have to keep one thing in mind which is the primary objective of OLAP or data analysis is not just data processing, it is beyond that. Now moving ahead, we shall consider some of the basic examples of OLAP systems. Any data warehouse is an example for OLAP system. The uses of OLAP system are as follows. A company might compare their sales in the month of January with the month of February, then compare those results with another location which may be stored in a separate database. Amazon analyzes purchases made by its customers to come up with a personalized homepage with products which are likely to be interested by their customers. So this is one of the good example of OLAP systems. Now moving ahead, we shall understand the advantages of OLAP systems. OLAP creates a single platform for all type of business analytical needs, which includes planning, budgeting, forecasting and analysis. The main benefit of OLAP is the consistency of information and calculations. Using OLAP systems, we can easily apply security restrictions on users and objects to comply with regulations and protect sensitive data. So these were the advantages of OLAP systems. Now moving ahead, we shall consider some of the disadvantages of OLAP systems. So the first one is implementation and maintenance are dependent on IT professionals because the traditional OLAP tools require a complicated modeling procedure. OLAP needs cooperation between people of various departments to be effective, which might always be not possible. So these are the major disadvantages of OLAP systems. Now moving ahead, we shall study about OLTP systems. So what exactly are OLTP systems? OLTP or Online Transaction Processing or shortly known as OLTP supports transaction oriented applications in a three tier architecture. OLTP administers day-to-day -day transaction of an organization. Here, we need to consider one major point that is the primary objective of OLTP systems is data processing, not data analysis. Now, we shall consider some of the examples of OLTP systems. An example of OLTP system is an ATM center. Assume that a couple has a joint account with a bank. One day, both simultaneously reach different ATM centers at precisely the same time and want to withdraw the total amount present in their bank account. However, the person that completes authentication process first will be able to get the money. In this case, OLTP systems make sure that withdrawn amount will never be more than the amount present in the bank. The key to note here is that 
OLTP systems are optimized for transactional superiority instead of data analysis. Some other examples of OLTP systems are online banking, online air ticket booking, sending a text message, order entry, and many more. Coming into online ticketing, you can see that if two or more persons are booking a ticket in an airplane, then the ticket will be booked for the person who is fast in his process. That is, first come, first serve are the fastest fingers first. Now, these were the examples of OLTP systems. Now, moving ahead, we shall consider some of the major advantages of OLTP methods. The OLTP method administers daily transactions for an organization, which is a major advantage for an organization which is following the OLTP systems. Followed by that, the OLTP widens the customer base of an organization by simplifying individual processes. So these were the few advantages of OLTP systems. Now moving ahead, we shall consider some of the major disadvantages of OLTP systems. If OLTP system faces hardware failures, then online transactions get severely affected. So this is one of the major disadvantages of OLTP systems. Followed by that, OLTP systems allows multiple users to access and change the same data at the same time, which many times created unprecedented situation. So this is the second and important disadvantage of using OLTP systems. So organizations which are using or following this procedure should be careful. Now with this, we shall move ahead into the next topic where we will understand the differences between OLTP and OLAP systems. The following diagram describes a basic difference between OLAP and OLTP systems. So the OLAP and OLTP systems are divided by two major factors, which are the business strategy, master data transactions, and the analytics followed by them. So basically, OLAP is an information-based system and OLTP is an operations-based system. So OLAP is all about business data warehouse and OLTP is all about the business process. Remember the two points which we have discussed. The first one, which is based on the OLAP. That is, the primary objective here is data analysis, not data processing. And similarly, in the case of OLTP, that is, the primary objective is data processing, not data analysis. So moving ahead, we shall consider the differences between them. We will differentiate them based on some of the parameters such as process, functionality, method, query, table, and many more. Firstly, we shall consider the parameter that is the process. In case of OLAP, OLAP is an online analysis and data retrieving process, whereas OLTP is an online transactional system. It is designed to manage database modification. And when we come into the next parameter, that is the characteristic, the OLAP is characterized by large volume of data, whereas the OLTP is characterized by large number of short online transactions. The next parameter is the functionality. Here, OLAP is an online database query management system, whereas OLTP is an online database modifying system. Followed by functionality, the next parameter we are going to discuss is the method. So OLAP uses data warehousing method, whereas the OLTP uses traditional RDBMS method. Followed by that, we have the query. OLAP mostly uses select operations, whereas OLTP uses insert, update, and delete information from database. Next is the source. In case of OLAP, different OLTP databases become the source for the data of OLAP. In the case of OLTP, the OLTP and its transactions are the sources of its data. Followed by that, the next important difference between them is the backup. OLAP only need a backup from time to time. Backup is not important compared to OLTP. Whereas in the case of OLTP, complete backup of the data combined with incremental backups is really important. And the final difference between the both is the style. In the case of OLAP, a data warehouse is created uniquely so that it can integrate different data sources for building a consolidated database. Whereas in the case of OLTP, it is designed to have fast response time 
low data redundancy and is normalized. So these were the few comparisons between the OLAP and OLTP systems. Now moving ahead, we shall have a discussion about the key differences between the both. So the first point is online analytical processing or OLAP is a category of software tools that analyze data stored in database, whereas online transaction processing or OLTP supports transaction oriented applications in a three tier architecture. The next difference is OLAP creates a single platform for all type of business analysis needs, which includes planning, budgeting, forecasting and analysis. Whereas OLTP is useful to administer day to day transactions for an organization. Followed by that, OLAP is characterized by a large volume of data while OLTP is characterized by large number of short online transactions. The last key difference between the both is in OLAP, data warehouse is created uniquely so that it can integrate data sources for building a consolidated database, whereas OLTP uses traditional RDBMS processes. So these were the key differences between OLAP and OLTP. Now with this, we come to an end of this particular tutorial. If you have any queries regarding this session, then please feel free to write them down in the comment section below. Till then, thank you and wish you all a very happy learning. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!